Hi guys, and welcome to another video um, on Sandy Bay. So, what we're doing today is we're going to be doing a bit of muck spreading. Uh, brought two, just brought two new piece of land down at the other farm that we own. So we're going to go jump in there. Got the 6920S um, that's on the plough ready to go so as soon as we're done muck spreading we'll jump on the plough and we'll head back to the farm um, but I've got traffic on at the moment I'm well, just getting in front of that car yeah we've got traffic on at the moment so We've we are, we are a bit like we're also doing a con we're also doing like we've got contract work so one of the lads is out uh, drilling um, was I over yeah <laughs> definitely over. 53 I was out, I was driving huh. not a good idea so what I'm going to do is going to indicate now so I'm pretty certain this car is right up my oh I'm just, I've just stopped the yeah sorry We are, yeah, oh no. Um, so yeah, we are dung spreading today um, so we got the 14 ton uh, muck spread on the back what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the tractor up here so that we are doing just go check that the gates are open so I can just go straight into the field done done that kind of job um so yeah they're arable land oh and they're right next door <laughs> that's fun um didn't re i actually didn't realize uh, so the airport So the airport is literally down the back there. So what we have to deal with is aeroplanes coming. Um so this is well we own it and we run it, but it's technically a tenant is running it for us. Um so when I said oh we have we own thing you now it's tenant who actually run it for us um, and we've brought some more land for them to get them because they've got they've they haven't got much land really um, So we're going to get try and get a bit more land for them, so that they've got um, land to grow.
Um, so yeah, we, yeah, basically what we do is we come in every so often, th every three weeks, um, do whatever they need to do. If they need slurry spreading, we do it for them. Um, they are, they will be getting their own tractor at some point, uh, was discussing it with them. Because they want to do more stuff on their own, so I was I was like, well, that's fine. We we I don't have an issue with that. Um, they they have said though that we are still doing the big jobs, like the muck spreading, the ploughing. Um, they're going to try and get their their a little tanker. Um, and I said that's fine. I was like, not an issue with that. Um, they want to be more independent, is what I've been told, and like I said, I like like I told them, I have no issue if they want to be independent. Um, they pay the they pay what they pay a month to me, and um, that's fine by me. So yeah, what we do is the they do like they do work for us, like put their tenant. They they own they don't own the buildings, um, but they do own two cows that are in there. Uh, we own the rest, but we always said that if they wanted to, if they talked to us. They can always change the farm how they want. We're not, we're not like some tenants who wouldn't be like, well, no, this is how the farm's staying. We don't do that. Um, but yeah, we're not. I may, I may upgrade the dung spreader to a, a sixteen ton. Uh, well, keep the f thing the same, but just put the sides on it so we can put more in. Um, So what we'll do after this is we will empty empty the dung out of the both sheds. Um, so what I want to do is I want to well. Okay, so for some reason, what have we got this set on? Oh, so it's been fit. So it's been fertilized already. That hasn't been fertilized. Right, I got the wrong field. Um, I thought it was both of the fields that haven't been fertilised, but this one has. Um, the next one hasn't. So he didn't tell me that. Um, or did he? I don't know. He could have, and I've just. There he is. So I've just spoken to him and he's told me he's very sorry. 
he he did tell me. I was like, oh right. So I was like, don't worry, it's like not an issue. We've just made sure it was working properly. Um. He's left it open, the car f uh, panels, uh, but he's uh, like put another gate in to stop the calves uh, getting out. Cause so at some point we do need to get a lime spreader, um, but that's another cost that I... At the moment, we we well we do have the money and we will thing it, but I want to buy more land for the farm to expand. So yeah, let's go and do some dung spreading. So the back's up. So what I'm going to do is get to dung spreading. Yeah, it's working. And I've just realised I shouldn't have actually done the muck until I was out a bit near the gate. Uh, because you're travelling in and out of the field, so but not an issue. O C A D plant, not. I thought it was the airport. Um, or the airstrip. So we are going to be bringing the 6920S and this Massey down uh, with the ploughs. Because I'm going to get the 69 doing this field and then I'm going to plough the field over. Um, this hasn't got a weight for it, for the plough. Um, but I don't think it needs weight on it. But I could be totally wrong when we do. But so we didn't get we got around half a field. Um but that could have been we could have done the full field if I hadn't have uh, gone into that field first but like I said it's not an issue we're not moaning about it well so I'm going to leave this open uh, the guys just said don't like worry they won't get out um, he left it open one day all day and he didn't go out because um, we've put a we had a we put a cattle uh, thingy on it cattle like I don't, cattle stopping A cattle stopper um, on it, like a cap cattle 
thingy there. So if the cattle they don't go near it, so we just we put them all on the cattle farms we've got uh, because they've worked very well. They've worked well for us, and they won't get far anyway because I can always jump out if they did go start running. Could jump out quickly, head to them gates and shut them. Um, so the only real part they could get to was that arable field there. And really, they're not going to go far because there no, there's no gates down there. Um, so we always have plans anyway for this farm. Because a loader can always go there, like be blocked, so they can just stay there. But then, so we have got plans for this farm um, to upgrade it. Um, the first plan was to buy more fields for it, so we brought them to um, fields. The guy who actually we brought it off still own them two fields um, so we were like well and he's like well I don't want them anymore so we brought them we ain't bothered we'll just buy them keep buying until we have the farm to how we want it But one day, one day at a time takes the farm. Um, I might swap the scorpion for this. The scorpion's actually going in for a uh, service, um, and they're giving us one of these, another one, but the New Holland one. Um, so we may swap. We we may have the New Holland one and the scorpion at one farm, and then have this at this farm. Right. We've still got a contracting business, so we're still going to be hauling bales. So it's always good to have a loader at one farm and a loader in the field, so we're then not have to move in the loaders over. Um, but we'll see how it goes. farm is well the main concern is the animals um, so yeah we'll leave them with a bit of manure still in the thingy uh, but we will come down every day clean them out for them we've said that because the tenants are actually away, away for the week so we've said we'll come down each day, he's good. Well, they've they've just gone. Uh, spoke to him. Um, he said the cows. He hasn't got enough milk at the moment. I said that's not an issue. We we've, we've probably got some up at the other at the main farm. Which they can use if they need. So we'll see how much we've got up up at there. Yeah, it's a decent. So I've just actually come off the phone with the dealership. Um, and they've told me that they've got a new Holland in, um, in the colours I want it and everything. So I will be going and picking it up with the sheafing.
Um, so be a new collector, new video collecting that. I think it'll be in this video actually, cause we haven't got much to do. Not today, anyway. Did a live stream earlier where I was trying to get my settings right for the because I did a video and it was lagging. So tried to get it more right and then found out that the settings were on very high um, and it, and my computer doesn't what like that, so it wasn't working properly. So fingered the settings down to high, uh, medium and they were working fine it wasn't lagging and then I put them on to high wasn't lagging so it's very well very high isn't gonna be uh, doing it anymore but works perfectly fine for what we do um, probably new mods are coming out as I speak, so I've got to go double check what's come out, see what if there's anything I like. Um, the day that Sandy Bay come out there, that was just like, whoa. Um, I'm gonna do it that way. So yeah, this is coming out. This should be this will be, well. This is being recorded now, which is Thursday. Um, so a lot could be different if you when you're watching it. Um, So I think we're gonna have to do another load. I didn't think we. I thought we'd have enough to get this load done, but we don't. I hate doing that. Um. Yeah, I thought we'd have enough, but we didn't. So another four buckets. Um. I think I've put the loader. <laughs> yeah, I did. But I've put the loader back. Um. We'll save their muck, and we'll bring. Cause we've got a pile up at the other, at the main farm, um, so I'll use theirs with the scorpion. Um, did I leave the gate? Oh, probably left the gate open. Um, but they've got a worker there, so he'll. I've just told him I'll be back, and they were like, "Yep, yeah, we'll sort it." Try and keep the speed down on this. It's about twenty six. So good that this dung spread doesn't have a number plate on it. Because as soon as I hit that thingy, I'm like past him.
do come around that corner very quick. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 6-9 down now, get him start ploughing and then while I'm filling up with the dung um, he can get on and get some acres ploughed for us. And then we've got the vulture with the seat drill. So once that's done, um, we will then. Well, we'll see what he's done. Got to do now. I ain't got much, so I'll finish this off. This part off, and then he's got down the bottom. So it's not an issue. So it's two o'clock. So I'll probably end the video when it says in game uh, three o'clock. Um, because we've got quite a lot to do today. Um.
So yeah, we'll go pick the new loader up. Go pick this new uh, tile envelope. Um, So yeah, this is the new one. Uh, so it's going to be this will be well the scorpion um, will be the contractors um, loader, uh, and this will be the farms loader. So the dairy farm and the whatever if we have pallets coming in. Um, We haven't got many. We have actually haven't got even anything New Holland on the farm, which always baffles me a bit. Um, well, they're multi-purpose, but I don't like. I prefer the big wide tires on them. Um, beacon on it, and yes, now. Anything else I need? What buckets is there? We have a buck. We do have a bucket, but it's used for literally everything. So I want a bucket that I know I've got. Like I can put it in, and it's like manure. Um. I could get a manure bucket, but what's the point? Manure forks. We'll have that one. Actually, I think we can get it delivered to the farm. Um, if I'm right, they deliver uh, to us. <gasps> Yeah, so he's ploughing. That's brilliant. Um, so yeah, he's yeah he's ploughing it. So that's what what we need. Um, So yeah, we'll go, well we'll empty, see if the cattle need to feed, no they're fine for that, do need water though, bedding, they're fine, um,
This is better than a bucket. You can literally just grab. Um, and we can wash it out and use it for anything really. Um, too fussed at the moment um, because we're doing we are doing work we have got fields to be done we have got more than enough of what we need um, and we have got contract work so we're not too fussed at the moment um, but they do want this pile moving well we need it moving um, because the muck where the muck will be kept is here but um, So yeah, even though it's a bit far and we're moving from one farm to another, we're still like they've we've taken two trailer well two uh, spreaders out of that pile, um, and that's that's what they wanted just to to keep the manure down. So we're going to try and haul some of ours, um, right the rest of that pile after. We're going to try and haul it to that farm. Just keep that dung um, thingy because we need to get rid of it. So yeah, it's just basically ploughing and dung spreading. Um, today is what we're going to be doing. Um, let me slow down. Let me just forget about this guy.
I always forget with this dung spreader because the other day I had got I still got a bit of dung in here um, and I left the back up and was going down the road with the with the thingy up which is never a good idea. Why just in a cup? Yeah. Please. Always stick your indicator on. Um. Oh, he's, he's actually doing pretty well. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, so we'll finish this off and then we'll just keep going up and down. Um, but dung spreading at the moment. When we get to slurry spreading, it'll be a totally different job. Right. When I'm doing slurry spreading, I'll be I'll be carting it and spreading it at the same time. Um, like this, I'll, um, you can tell that deer's pulling it, like. I might get the deer just to do both all field all the these this field. Or do I to get him or do I do it myself? Yeah, I'll do it myself I'm not. Because he'll he won't he'll be ages with that. I have a way of doing it. Um So yeah, what we'll do is, we'll plough this, we'll leave it a couple of days so that the dung is in the ground and its nutrients are in the ground and everything and then we'll come in and we'll drill it. We'll do the same with that. So we've left, well we've got some air into the ground now. So... I do need to empty this uh, dung because I'm not going back with a full tank. Missed some down here. I thought I had. Um, Oh, there is. I thought there wasn't a gate down there, but there is. So that field is ready now. Um, I'll unhook this. Well, we'll go back, unhook this, pick up the 
the thingy for it, the plow for it, come back, start plowing. milk tanker um, oh the boxes are in ah. Oh, we've got the Amazon, not the thingy drill. No, oh, the thingy drill. The um, fertilizer, uh, the plow. Um, I've got loads of different ideas in my head. That's why I keep saying plow and Amazon drill. Because we are getting a third drill. Um, but it won't be a one like the Verdiston. So we've got a Let's see what this can go and do. Uh even though it's got no weight weight on it. For some reason. Should be fine anyway. Um,
So yeah, we're just uh, going to shut the gate. Um, I'm going to tell them about that as well. Because there's a hole there that the cows can literally just walk through. So something we we can sort that because technically that's for us to sort. Um, so we can sort it. Um, but they're not going near it. So at the moment I'm not going to touch it until. Well, I'm going to get it sorted, but not yet. Uh, cause I've got to speak to them because they may they may have seen the issue. So you don't know with some people, because So yeah, we're going to end the video there. Um, end the video there, and now we can get on and get the ploughing done, because even though he's got quite a bit, he's getting through it. So I need to get this done. Um... Just I've just gone round the plow quickly, just have a quick look, because um, I thought there was a thing you're missing on this, um, but there isn't. So oh, the windows are. That's uh, good now. Can actually, if I'm out like doing that. Um, 
Yeah, that's fine. For what? Um. Yeah, that's fine. So what we'll do is, like I said, I'm going to end the video now. Um, so thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And as always, until next time, bye for now.